What is going on everybody? Hey, it's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. Welcome back to the channel and if this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. But now that's out of the way, moving forward, we have an awesome gender reveal that I'm gonna take you guys on that my friends are having. And I think it's the freaking coolest gender reveal ever. Check it out. Jesus. I have to drop the off. Oh, oh yeah, she's pregnant. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, they do fight very different. Yeah. Your tags are legal, right, Austin? <laughs> what? Your tags are legal, right? Yeah, why? So that stuff's gonna shoot out the color of the baby. The color of the baby. The gender of the baby. Way to go. Cody, you're supposed to break this tradition of having girls in the Wheeler's family. Oh yeah, no problem. Well, you're just gonna have to start over. I know, we need a boy now. <laughs> the wrong one. Oh, it was the wrong one! <laughs> you're gonna get your shoes all pink, bud. I'm pink. I think somebody's gonna get Simba through this pink, pink powder, that's for damn sure. Well, boys, I sent her a little too hard the other day. Uh, I got to replace this door in my garage because I got trapped outside and six below going to go warm my car up before work. And uh, I wasn't wearing anything but sweatpants and a t-shirt. So how many eggs would we get, bud? 23. 23. Good Lord. Man. You get some broken ones in there? No, they're not broken ones. Oh, they look wet and nasty. All right, you can go through the garage. I got the door open. Yeah, yeah I just opened it. So. I bet. Yeah. So, I had to go buy a complete new door because I sent her a little too hard. So, I got friends that are coming over. They're going to help me install this bad boy. It's been... A needed upgrade for a long time now anyways uh, this door is a uh, foam insulated fiberglass door the other one's just wood core so yeah this one's gonna be a lot better than the one we have so stand by the other day it was about six below out I went to uh, go warm my car up I was in pajamas t-shirt sweatpants slippers six below five in the morning go to warm our car up Come back out or come back in, turn the doorknob, and it don't work. So I had to shoulder the door open. And that's basically what I did. This light's horrible. So come on in. I busted the door. So I'm putting a new door on today have some friends coming over uh i also have an awesome awesome friend network man i asked for two guys hoping one of them might be able to help me with this door and they both jumped on it to come help me so that's really cool can't you can't find good friends very often so what we got to do now is I've got to cut the little screw holes or undrill them and pull the door out first 
we're gonna get rid of the heaviest part of the door and get that pulled out because it's doing us no good and it's just added weight so I'm gonna get this yanked out Maybe we can get a better look at this now, but that's that's what I did. I gave her the old shoulder aid, busted her down. Ah, oh, drywall screw. It's awesome. Oh, well, that was the only one that made it all the way through. So, I guess they just put some finishing nails in there, but we're just gonna cut those out. Jeez. Not a dang thing. Just on the one side. Where's that nail at? There it is. Alright. We've got her loose. We're gonna pound her back in. Expose the nail head and pull her out. I don't know if there's any more though. Nope, there's no more. It's ready to come out. Wow. Hey there, JB. Dang it. Yep, no insulation. That's awesome. Well, all that's left is me sweep this up and we're gonna get the new door frame in. We're gonna wait for my fellas to show up and give me a hand. So, be right back. Okay guys, it's much later in the day now. My friends came and gave me a hand with this new door. But here's the kicker. I bought a door that fits into a 2x4 wall. My house is made of 2x6s. So the door I bought was the wrong door and it was a short door and I didn't notice it until we got the door in. And apparently a 2x6 door is not very common. So we spent, we spent a better part of the day searching the town for a 2x6 door. And what I mean by two by six is this is six inches. That's how big my, my structural uh, framing is to my house is a two by six. So when I put it in a two by four door, it only went halfway in. So we have the door in now. We were able to find one and here's, here's the funny part. When we finally found one, it was at a hardware store it was called Menards. I don't know if you guys have them around where you're at, but uh, it had been sitting on their shelf for five years. This thing was full of dust and everything because they're just not very common apparently. And the guy's like, I think they said they wanted two, it was $209 for the door. And he's like, I'll tell you what, they had two kinds of doors, one with brass hinges and one with nickel plated hinges. And he said, I'll tell you what, if you take the one with the brass hinges, I'll give it to you for a hundred dollars. Boom, that happened. Didn't think twice about that. So, yep, all we gotta do now is put our door hardware in. We just gotta put some insulation around it 
put some. I'm gonna put the old trim back up. We are gonna replace the trim, but I'm gonna put the old stuff up now for today, and um, then we'll be done. So, all right. You it. So let's let's chop these things out and get them out of our way. Oops, don't make this complicated. Don't make it complicated. All right, so I'm gonna get the door handles and stuff installed on this and we'll get the trim back up and I'll meet back up with you guys after I get that done because nobody wants to see me put a door handle in. It's pretty boring, so. All right, let's do it. Don't pay attention to that. Sorry. What? I thought you were talking what? to me. What? What? What's up? These are struggles of being a YouTube and filming as people think you're talking to them, but you're actually being weird and just talking to yourself. <laughs> I got a few things to finish up on this door still. Uh, I got to redo the trim on the inside because obviously as you, you saw that it's too short. Um, I got to put a two by four underneath that because this hangs out a little further. It needs supported. Got a couple mouse holes on the bottom that I gotta get some steel wool into. Trick that my buddy uh, was telling me about sticking steel wool into places you don't want mice to chew through. So I'm gonna do that and uh, we'll get her painted and then we'll be done. So it's time for me to start cooking some dinner. We're gonna grill some steaks. So I'll see you guys on the next episode and I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry that this video wasn't as awesome and as exciting as my normal videos but this week just a real busy week guys so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next episode like a bird on a tree i'm